All right, notes, notes, notes from the first OTA. Of course, of course, of course. I know it's just OTA practicing, and it's just practice. About practice, not a game. Practice. We talking about practice. First and foremost, Dak Prescott. We talking about practice, man. They said he looked sharp. Seven oh seven drills. He was there. With the ball, the delivery looked good, looked smooth out of his hands, as well as his footwork was pretty good and smooth. So it looks like Dak Prescott is on pace, and if it was a game today, he will be able to play today. So Jalen Smith officially changed his number to, to number nine for your mind. So for those who out there that really, 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 really appreciate number nine tony romo now you will see that number on the defensive side of the coin yeah jalen smith is wearing number nine and in other news as well as donovan wilson because i was wondering who was that number 37 robinson donovan wilson also changed his number from 37 to number six so this is due to the new nfl ruling and according to the Dallas Cowboys, there are no official number retiring. Now, they got a respect system that, you know, is up to Jerry Wayne and, and, and all of the higher ups to say, OK, well, we're going to allow you to switch your number. Now, um, we do know that Jalen, he's been in that middle place with some of the Cowboys fans, the swiping and and the understanding of his philosophy he, he's always positive and i'm quite sure that jalen reached out to tony romo and said man this number is very important to me and and everybody knew of uh what all happened when he was in college or what have you he wore that number and according to like the uh, website or what have you uh he really really wanted that number nine so it's going to be weird. Maybe he can hide a little bit. Jalen, maybe he can hide and 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 play that Sam because they I believe news is reported that he will be playing the Sam according to the lineup situation and scenarios from OTAs. LVE will be on the weak side and Jalen will be on the Sam, which is a strong side. And uh, Michael Parson will be the middle linebacker. Now, Keanu Neal and Jabril Cox, they have those guys rotating in. But when Jabril Cox get out there, he will be the quote-unquote uh, weak side linebacker. And Jabril Cox, they line him up everywhere. Now, if you look at Jabril Cox tape, he's better detached from the box, meaning that he's better on the outside. Now, if they're going to put him at Mike to be that rotational piece, maybe it'd be an obvious passing down, a uh, passing situation. But going back to Jalen Smith wearing number nine is something new for the Cowboys. Seeing a nine out there on the defense since they changed the new ruling, linebackers can have numbers, I believe, from one through 59. Now, for all of the people that really, 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 really love Tony Romo, just know that you will not see a number nine on the offensive side again it will be on the defensive side now this is a make it or break it type of situation and scenario because a lot of people looking at Jalen and saying man it's time for him to go a lot of people feel that way and I'm just saying to everybody give this kid an opportunity to play under Dan Quinn give him chances to prove that last year Mike Nolan is just Mike Nolan Mike Nolan is Mike Nolan. Everywhere Mike Nolan been, according to stats, and you just look at his teams, on the bottom end. So it's hard to, to make that justification of when you say, man, let's get rid of this guy and that guy and this guy and that guy. No, 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 no. When you do the research, you will see that this guy been on the bottom end. As far as his defense from a statistical category, I'm going back to Jalen Smith. I believe that this man is now looking at it like, okay, you guys went out there. You went and got Keanu Neal, which is understandable. Then you went and drafted Michael Parson. 
and you thrusted him as the Mike linebacker. That's cool. All right. Then you went and got Jabril Cox, and everybody's saying that I'm washed up, that I'm, that I'm no good, I can't cover. I led the team in tackles last season. And, of course, it's where you get the tackles from. And if you go look at the measurables as where they measure tackles for linebackers, nine times out of ten it's tackles for loss where you get most of the credit. I digress. But Jalen, he got something to prove this year. Well, he want to show up and show out and tell everybody, I got my number back, I got my mind in check, and this thing finna, we finna flex this thing all the way out, the right way, the proper way. That's what's about to happen. In my opinion, I can think of it like this, Cowboy Nation. Let's not subtly denigrate these guys for wanting a certain number. Numbers is one thing. But playing on the field is everything. Let's put that into our minds and understand that, baby, when we think about this, this team need to be focused. This team need to be rooted in. And in other OTA notes, I just got to put pull this out. Boss Man Fat is projected to be the opposite corner starting with Trayvon Diggs, the opposite side. They got... Anthony Brown, Jordan Lewis, all of those boys, Nashawn Wright, all of those guys came in on the second wave. So they, it just how it goes, Cowboy Nation. They trying to figure this thing out. Maybe Jordan Lewis and um, Anthony Brown will play inside the slot. And I didn't get much news on the Israel Mukramu, nor the uh, J. Ron Curse. He was out there. And uh, as well as the what's this other guy? Oh, oh, Donovan Wilson. I didn't get much news on the safeties. Uh, the other news that I got so far is the is the center. Um, Joe Looney, he's not here anymore. They didn't invite him. They didn't invite him back. Uh, I don't know whether or not it was just an excuse absence. I don't know. But so far, they are working out. They are working out. Tyler Biotis as the starting center and Connor McGovern as the uh, backup center. So this team is different, Cowboy Nation. This team is flat out different. And we talking about practice, too. Not a game. We talking about practice. So let that sink into your mind and mental. So Jalen represent that number nine. I'm supporting him. I support the brother because of his his mindset. And of course, of course, of course. Of course, we need help on defense. And hopefully, he would just look into this thing and say, iron sharp and iron steel, sharp and steel. And don't sleep on LVE. Don't sleep on him. Double nickel. Is he going to change his number, by the way? <laughs> yeah, it, it's just how it goes, Cowboy Nation. Um, these new numbers, it, it's something new to the philosophy and the overall collective. But let's not get bogged down on numbers. Because the only number that I want to see at the end of the year, six. Maybe that's why Donovan Wilson changed it from 37 to six. I want to get six Super Bowls. I want them. I need them. We got to have them. And we got to figure that out. So if anybody else want to change their numbers, change them. But I want to change the philosophy of our mindset. I want to have that. I'm going to have that ring, baby. Let's go get that number. They have a better ring to it, right? So Jalen Smith will be number nine for your mind. And my dog, Donovan Wilson, man, he's going to be looking for heads to knock off with number six. And if we get that number six this year, woo -woo! let's go, Cowboy Nation. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Let's go. Let's go.